Hello, I'm Skid, and welcome to episode 49 of my Elden Ring playthrough. So, today's plan, we're going to go visit the roads and catacombs, and then we're going to explore the underneath of here. Um, that's going to be the idea, at least. Uh, how far we'll get will depend on how long it takes us in the catacombs. But we are back here because I noticed things while I was editing. For one, this is the Revenger's shra uh, Shack. Um, it was Edgar the Revenger, not Edgar the Revenant. And the reason that is important is because as I was watching the footage back, I've looked at him and I thought, he looks familiar. Why does he look familiar? Does he look like the Battle Master? I, this guy over here. Uh, that's too far. Uh, yeah, War Master. Uh, I thought, Hmm, no, it's not him, because I went down there and I checked, and now he has a different name. And then I thought, okay, who is it? It's not Arena's father, is it? Because I did remember a name, The Revenger, appearing on the map at some point, but I can't remember when. But yeah, Edgar the Revenger is Arena's father. Arena being the girl who, um, the, uh, is it Hanata? The, uh, Arena being... The model and outfit being used for the girl that is eating the Shibui grapes. A Shibui grape that we got from her father. The question is like, okay, if we got it from his father, is it his father's grape? Or was it her father's eyes we just gave her? Because he was after demi-humans, or at least um, the variant that raided his castle. And if we come down here... These things. He was after these things. And obviously there's one dead there, there's one dead here, there's one dead there. And then everything in the shack is human. Now the ghost has told us that he's been driven mad by frenzy. So the question at this point is, is he dead dead? Or are we going to see him again? But yeah. I have noticed these things now. I wanted to make sure you knew that I had noticed them. So, let's go to the catacombs. Uh, I did a minor amount of prep. I've not leveled up any, but I did spend a bunch of um, souls on... Uh, what was it? Uh, I spent a bunch of souls on getting some incantations. Uh, not any that I can actually use, but I wanted to have them available. Okay, there's a lot of bony lads. There's a lot of bony lads, but... Okay. So we can probably get rid of um, that spell. We probably don't need it. Uh, is the pokey sword better against these guys? I don't think it really matters. I see you. They can see me anyway, so let's just go. Interesting. Is this going to be a case where the actual door... Whoopsie daisy, that might kill me. So I did actually find out what that is. Um, that's effectively Frenzy on the Golem. Damn it. I was hoping for Grave Walk 4. Never mind.
That was just a good guess. I didn't even hear this guy. <laughs> I just looked this way and thought, I can hear stuff behind there. Is that a hidden wall? Lunark. Ah, not worth. Well, it does keep going. trust this in the slightest. Oh, I wonder. You know, this is too convenient. And there it is. We found the boss room. <laughs> Only really one enemy in the way. Okay, do I want to do the boss now or... That potentially means that the rest of this place is going to be super, super sketchy. Well, there's a trap, arrow trap. I don't trust how quiet this place is. That's basically frenzied golems. They're supposed to attack things randomly. I was gonna say there's no way he was the only one. We can do a lot of damage to one of them. We're not gonna be able to kill them both. This is too easy. This is almost certainly a trap. This has to be. No, it's not. 
Okay, so maybe the purpose of this entire area, because that was way too easy. Uh, maybe the purpose of this entire area is to teach you, okay, you need to start paying attention to illusionary walls, because I never found any in um, Limgrave. There were no illusionary walls that I could find in Limgrave. And now we're starting to find them here. And that main path is obviously there specifically to tell you, hey, hidden walls. Okay. Well, we have more or less all of our resources, so we don't know what we're fighting. I was trying to get behind the wall. That was my fault for delaying what I was going to do. Spirit call a snail. Are you really going to drop me just outside the door? There's no reason to do that. This was not a long run. Okay. So let's actually do this order of operations properly this time. Traverse the mist. Immediately summon her earlier. Now that. Ah! What? Why didn't that go off? I should have noticed the fact that I didn't drink it, but I selected it correctly. I'm almost certain I pressed R. Okay, that was bizarre. Spirit call a snail. Damn it. Thanks, Avalia. Oh god, one of these. Whew. Blintstone Sorcerer Ashes. The second I saw that it summoned one of those, I thought, nope, 
It has got to still be in this room. Where is it? That spot's glowing. Try it. <laughs> okay. Uh, before we carry on, actually we can do that um, over there. I want to swap out... I may end up having to swap it back in again, but... Folly on the lake. Uh, no, let's start from... No, no, Let, let's start from this side. I want to swap out the... Um, this spell here. Do I want to go and explore underneath there? Actually, no. We're not going to go and explore underneath there just yet. I am going to swap out this spell for this one. Um, I may grab the anti-poison one, but in all honesty, the materials for crafting that is not hard to get. We will, however, make sure we have one equipped. This looks slightly more substantial in terms of what I'm potentially going to need to do to get inside here. But we may actually have to find another way in looking at that. Because someone has smashed the um, thing at the front. There we go, there's our entrance. Let's just confirm. I'm glad it's not just insta-killing me like it did last time I did something along those lines. Check down first. This place has obviously been wrecked. Or just. Are you alive? You look dead. That looks corrupted. That's just straight up damage. Yeah, you don't much care about that. You don't much care about that. Didn't I make um Yeah that does a bit more. It's 
it's mechanical, of course it's not. Well, it's mechanical or magical, one of the two. Bleed probably isn't going to work. It's weird that Frostbite wasn't working. I think our best bet is just wait for it to cast, run in. I didn't drop a spell. Last time it dropped a spell. Which begs the question, why was it here? So obviously we can't get in through the main door, regardless. We used way too much mana, but that's fine. lift. That is something beneath it. I don't know whether we can get down there. There's definitely something there. Here, Nathan, that's a dumb idea. Twitchy finger. Uh, there's our entrance. Oh, that's just the main entrance. Okay. And there wasn't anything over there. It seems weird that. There was nothing else in here. Because it's not like you could get in any other ways and there's no reason to come down here. Unless that thing is supposed to kill you when you stand upon the thing up there. Either way, job done. We've got our sixth slot. So we can take this off the map now. We have this. Hopefully we remember that we have this and we don't try and come back to here later. Okay. Oh uh, no, we said this side. Now that we have the extra slot, do we want to keep... I think we should keep Faith Blade on permanently. Uh, that's entirely not how that's done. Memorize spells. Uh, so yeah, I got, um, I grabbed basically the last one that D had, so this one here, uh, and then I grabbed this and this. Did I grab anything else? Oh yeah, anti-poison. Uh, poison heal is the other thing I got. Don't mind me, crabs. Straight south. This is going to be kind of a pain. 
I'm heading east, not south. So yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a pain. Um, just because of... how dark it is in here and the fact that this is underground and I don't think I have a map for this level because it's not the actual underground. fan of riding up here like this. That's an enemy. Are you going to attack me? I need to know. Yeah, okay. Milky blood. So these guys will attack me given the opportunity. Oh, I remember those things. Oh, hello. Good to see you again. Oh, it's you. Well... What do you make of it? What's happened to this village? I witnessed a sight much the same in my infancy. The oppression of the weak. Murder and pillage unchecked. A waking nightmare made by men. But this time, I'm a woman grown. And though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out justice. Justice to the oppressors. Let the scars I carve remind them. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. But this time, I'm a woman. And though the justice let the scars I carve... Okay, we need to be mindful of her summon sign appearing. What have we got? They're dead, they're alive. That blood? That looks like a pool of blood. Interesting. We can summon here. Yeah, if I don't kill them, they are just going to come after me. Not exactly bright though. Can we? Okay, good to know. We can't actually backstab them. Whew. Oh, he did get me. I thought I just dodged that one. No, he did get me. Here, key item. Um, key item, Nathan. Look in the right area. Material needed by... Renena. That's not the sorcerer's name, is it? It's very close. But unfortunately it was R-A-N-N. Ellie. To grant me birth. Mm. 
this village is done for. Please, even if it's just you, old Albus, hide well and stay your something. And steal your breath. Okay, so there might be a child hiding somewhere. This, can I see a location from here that looks like it's going to take me up to? There's two locations to go. I'm inclined to go this way first. And if we are, let's take the horse. Okay, so we've lost our wolves. Fair enough. Make sure we have the right spells equipped. Another dead putrid tree. Blood clots. Uh, oh yeah, we know we can't back attack these guys, so there's little point as using that weapon specifically. Is looking out over where the crystallines are, but oh, what's the bedding that this is a long sword though? Not a um, standard straight sword. It is a standard straight sword. Interesting. We're not going to be able to get a second one of these, I doubt. I doubt it. I'll have a look at how we can get this scale in later. Because this is primarily, primarily scaling off strength and int, and we want it scaling off of dex and int. But that's an interesting weapon that potentially fits the build. Just making sure there's nothing else. There's a little bit of rock over there, but I think we've actually been up there. Okay. Let's go re-rest of this bonfire to get things, uh, um, regenerate things. Let's actually check around the back. Sight of grace, not bonfire, good lord. When you've been dealing with bonfires for bonfires all the time, easy to get them mixed up, because they effectively are. Okay, how many? Okay, not enough to worry about. You are bigger and nastier and have a sword. Are you the only one? You almost certainly can't be, but we can. Why can't I cast spells that quickly? I thought I had him dead. Which is why I pressed the attack. I thought this strong attack will kill him. 
But no, he's a fair bit stronger than I gave him credit for. More fool me. Duly noted. If he wants a range battle, I'll make him regret that. We can do ranged. They are nasty. Depraved perfumer's robe. I use way, way more mana than I would have liked to. If I brought my wolves out, then they would have taken a huge amount of damage to that. Why are you glowing? I am disinclined to roll through that. Ivory Sickle. Interesting. Intelligence based dagger. We now have a pair of them. <laughs> Both of them have quick step. Hmm. Please, no. Dear me, <laughs> I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. It's fine, I'm not going to hurt you. I just saw a shining pot. Wait then, you're not one of them. Well, what a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I... I'm Alvus, and Alvinoric, as you can see, we're finished. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them, I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the curse mongers hands. High Tree's secret medallion right, that's a different one. Or, or Higgle Tree's secret medallion, right. And if you should meet the young Albinorek Latena, then please give it to her. Absolutely. I'm going to talk to you one more time, then I'm going to do that immediately. A chosen land awaits us, Albinorex. The medallion is the key that leads to the city. It's only a quaint treasure for we who cannot make the journey. But for dear Latena, it is needed to fulfill her purpose. My legs will soon fade, and with them my life. Alas, this is the immovable fate of all Albinorex. <laughs> I don't have a prey. This will have to do. Okay. I come in friendship. I was told to bring this to you. I am doing it immediately. You better be grateful. I told the all hearing brute already that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Oh. 
Do you speak true? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. <sighs> then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute. I hope that you will forgive me. No, that's fine. If you've had bad um, encounters with our kind, and given the kind of kind that I know exist among us, who will kill everyone that moves, justifiable, I think. Hmm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do, even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallion's other half. I am more than happy to help you. You seem a perfectly reasonable person. Unlike the guy in the white mask who I am really, really thinking I should kill the next time I meet him. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the Forbidden Lands, north of the Earth Tree, in Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the Giants, accessible by the Grand Lift of Rold. Interesting. That's a long ass way away. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the tarnished. So that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. Call upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. Okay. We have found an ash that we are going to use litigiously. I think that's the right word. We're going to use it a lot now. This may be um, one of the few humanoid ashes we actually do use. Are you dead? Are you actually sleeping? Well, the fact I can face through you gives me indication that, yeah. If we rest, do you disappear? Nope, you're still here. So that would be her other half. Okay. I was wondering whether or not the vu or um, the wolf was her better half. Better half, other half, however she phrased it. Let's go downstairs and talk to her again. We'll just ride past these guys. What's out of interest? Do you have anything new to say? Probably not. Put this time, and though the soft justice to let the scars. Okay, fair enough. Um. Hmm. The wolves in Aurelia are still good, but. And I don't really want to get rid of my ability to use the raisins. it off. <laughs> Let's bind her to where the telescope is. We won't be able to summon her with just the push of a button, but we can still get at her easily enough from this menu. That was not what we wanted to do. F. Uh, we do need to go level her up. Okay. Oh, I'm assuming we can't do that because we have um, activated the telescope. She is actually within FP cost.
the hell? What just happened there? Who came after us? Can you explain that? Somebody needs to explain what just happened. Why did I arrive in somewhere covered in blood and was immediately attacked? Someone must know something. Ah, well then. May the golden order. It wasn't it was the ninja. Why did he come after me? Royal remains helm. Royal remains armor. Gauntlet. Graves. Why did your ninja attack me? Uh, you. What is it? One, two. Oh, my apologies for that nasty business. Ensure got rather ahead of himself, it seems. As his master, I'd like to express my regret. But now, Ensure is slain and gone. Finished. Forevermore. That isn't an answer, you bastard. Answer the question. Why did he summon me to a separate round table and try to kill me? Ah, yes. By way of apology, allow me to tender some advice in regard to the half of the secret medallion you possess. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I am sure. Okay. That's a better answer. That's not an answer as to why he attacked me. Directly, it's saying that... or it's indirectly, it's saying, because you have the medallion, he attacked you. But one, why does he know I have it? And two, why did he care? Find the Albinoric. She hides in a Xenos. My trust of you is wavering. Still, we got a set of armor out of it. Uh, no, there's not going to be anything else here. We came here to make the uh, Albionic woman stronger. Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? I am. I imagine... yeah. So we should be able to bring her fairly high. Okay, we need more souls, but yes, we can do this. Um, 4,000. Well, I took you no matter. Lay out your arm. Sooner or later, you're going to stop being surprised by the fact that I'm still alive. Until then, I will continue to surprise you. I think that's way more than I needed. Uh, since we're here, we'll also talk to um, the deathbed companion. Pleased to see. Would you like me? Now, come closer. We'll check out the armor in a second. I'm just wondering if she has anything new to say. She only really talks to us when she's talking in private. You are so very warm. Morgan's blessing. Then good day to you. Nothing new to say. Fair enough. Um, uh, yeah, let's just use this and get rid of it. I thought it said two of these for a second, but no. 
mixing things up. Um, okay, it is vitally important we read these subjects out. Ashen remains in which a spirit yet dwells, used to summon the spirit of Nanata the uh, Ambernek. <laughs> I've already forgotten how to pronounce it. In a rare case of one who has chosen to become a spirit voluntarily, uh, Lynetta was renowned as a deft magic archer, uh, but having lost her beloved wolf companion, Lobo, she cannot move from the place she was um, from the place where she was summoned. She can't walk. So basically she's going to become a turret. Um, unlike Aurelia, who can actually move around and she teleports about, um, she is going to be you put her down and that is where she is. So she's actually not going to be that good in the village. But I'd like to see how it works nonetheless, so we will test it. The right half of a split medallion depicting the Hargut tree. Um, brandishing the medallion with both halves conjoined will activate the great lift of roll, granting access to a hidden path. In other words, this secret medallion will guide the bearer to the land of McQueel's high tree. I think, in the grand scheme of things, we're going to be beelining this, not the Erd tree. We may have to go back for the Erd tree later, but we're going to make sure we get that done. Hopefully, without messing up the um, quest line. That'll be the plan. Uh, was there anything else in here? Call of a creature of a mimicry known as a silver tear. Uh, as much as a substance is a living organism. As much a substance as a living organism. Um, material required by the amber egg cradle by Valena, queen of the full moon, um, to birth people anew. Being born anew allows for the reallocation of attributes boosted by leveling up. Ah, so this is how it's done. So I can use it to change attributes. Good, good. Uh, we didn't get a new spell. Let's have a more detailed look at this weapon here. Fletched and fashioned from ivory, weapon carried by aged... Um, uh, this wep or these weapons are evidence of their dedication to Hugtree, hug despite never having entered its presence. Tool used to extract glintstone from rock, and then we have this one. Sword fashioned from a pure crystal, it's deemed impossible for a human, in wraith a deed impossible for a human. Uh, in wraith with a powerful magic, its attacks scale with intelligence. Um, the inscrutable crystallines have but one clear purpose, to safeguard their crystals until the end. One theory posits that they yearn, they yearn to return, yearn the return of their creator, uh, who will carve them from new brethren, carve them new brethren. But it's a, it's going to scale with int, but it also scales with dex. I imagine if we put a magic attack on it, then it would scale better with um, int. So we've only got one of these though. If we could get two of them, then it might be worth. But I'll I'll have to have a look at um, how its scaling goes over time because it looks like it's a strength intelligence weapon for all intent and purposes. Okay, well, we didn't get much done down here, but there's as good a place as any to leave off. Let's head back up here. I just want to see whether or not Perfume Boys respawned. Oh, the armor. Well, let's have a look at the armor in a second. Yeah, he's up there. Okay, fair enough. Um, Real Remains Helm. Helm graced with gold human bones. Uh, worn by the unspeaking adherent of Sir Gideon, the All-Knowing. Interesting. 
So he's the all-knowing, the all-seeing is dead, and it was the all-hearing brute that attacked, um, uh, attacked our new friend. Slowly replenishes HP when HP is reduced. It is said that the bones belong to the ancient lord, the soulless king. Uh, the lord of the lost... Uh, 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 the lord of the lost and decrepit. No, there's no C there. The despot. Lost and despots. Who was known as a sheen. Very worn by depraved perfumers. These heresies incline perfumes in Biden their own spices, altering body and mind. Their slow descent into self-destruction is what earned them their name. That has got to be heavy armour. Yeah, that is heavy armour. Okay, so I assume these are all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. And collectively, they're going to be just too heavy for me to wear anyway. That's fine. Anything in here that we haven't actually had a look at? Now we need to swap that back over. That was good against when we was fighting the larger boss thing, but not so good now. Where are you? There. Okay. We'll call it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back again tomorrow. And we will see about exploring this underground village. That's probably not going to take us all episode, though. So I'll figure out what we're going to do after that. Maybe we'll take a poke down here or maybe a poke down uh, the Sophia River. One of the two. Oh, I forgot to mention this at the start of the episode. I cannot find our blind maiden. Uh, she's nowhere near um, any of the sites of grace we currently have access to. So either she's going to be up here somewhere or she's moved on to the next map is what i'm thinking um but yeah anyway thanks again for watching hope you enjoyed the show and hopefully i'll see you next time cheerio